Yo, tell what's good, baby. We're about to record another video. And today we got, I saved 100 dogs from dying. Man, I know people love their animals. I'm not a big animal fan, but I understand it. Catering, loving, compassionate, companionship with your animals, man. Whatever it may be. So let's see how Mr. Beast saved 100 dogs. In this video, we're gonna help over a hundred different stray dogs find a loving home. Something all of these dogs have in common is that they were abandoned or rescued from kill shelters. Some of them would have even been dead by the time this video was uploaded. Which is why I brought all of them here That's to this crazy. massive dog sanctuary to get every one of them adopted. And to show you how serious we're taking this video, we have an army of trainers, walkers, and even an entire team dedicated to- How is he able to just get a hundred dogs adopted just like that? I mean, it is that many dog lovers in the world, though. So, Mr. Beast, he probably, anybody can make it happen. He probably can. Giving the dog scratches. Make sure they get lots of love. I want the doggos happy. And the doggos were happy, especially once the first adopter showed up. Welcome. Come on in. What? <laughs> You're going to adopt a dog even though you already have one? <laughs> yes. We want a small dog to be friends with this guy. Be. And if you're wondering where these two random dog, people came dog. from, we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a statewide ad campaign to get as many people here as possible. What do you think of Biscuit? <laughs> oh, she's cute. If you're interested, we can take him to the park and let them play together. Yes, yeah. that would be amazing. Oh, they're running together. Yes, we love her. You want to proceed to the next step? Yes, please. <laughs> we love her so much. One day. Down, 99 more to go. Oh, we got a runaway dog. We got you, no. Cody. They're all cheering him on. All right, whoever adopts Rocky, good luck. He's very energetic. And you should know that every person that wants to adopt a dog. Baby. All right, you're free, Barkley. Oh, he's great. I think we're going to do it. Is first put through extensive background checks. By an so if you had to choose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause for I even say what I'm going to say. You had to go to an extensive background check to adopt a dog? Like, uh. Is that serious, huh? But if you had to choose between a dog or a cat, what would you choose? Comment down below. I think most people are gonna choose dogs. I had a cat for three days and got rid of them. Uh, gave them back to whoever. But I ain't vote. Y'all vote. Comment down below. And then third party person to make sure they'll be able to provide a safe, stable, and loving home. Mark okay. has been officially adopted. Thank you. Congratulations. And when the next family came in, let's go find you guys a dog. They noticed the dog right away. Oh, look at this. It's a baby ready. dog. As many as you can carry, baby. Charlie and Nugget. Oh, they're getting along so well. And after saying bye That's to insane. Nugget and Charlie. No cap, though. Them two little dogs right there, that was two little five little combinations. These cute little dogs. Things began to pick up. Hi, I'm Carl. You want to meet a dog instead of me? Yeah, that's like kind of why I'm here. I'm Chandler. Nice to meet you. How's it going? I'm Jimmy. Hi. You strike me as someone who would like brownie. <laughs> He's cute. It's the end of day one and eight dogs got adopted. But obviously the cute fluffy dogs are easy to find homes for. Getting all 100 dogs adopted could literally take months. But at least on day two, thanks to our ad campaign, we had 10 times the amount of people waiting. That makes the most sense. I was so like, bro, they're gonna be forever trying to adopt all these dogs. There's no way. Here's a cute puppy. You wanna play with it? Oh my gosh. The objective is to hit them with a cute puppy when they walk in the door. Seems to be working. <laughs> I like this one. Oh, I love you. You wanna take hands with Let's do that. There's so many people over here. I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. I'm taking the stop home. Okay. And they give them the dog for free. There we go. Another one adopted. In case you're wondering, these X's don't mean the dogs died. It means they got adopted. <laughs> I want both. See if you can convince them to adopt two dogs. There is a buy one, get one free rule. They're both free. They're both free, actually. Let's get these two. I think you are the one for me, baby. <laughs> we rolling. Rocky out. Chandler is introducing people to dogs. Carl's hanging out with the people in the park to make sure they don't steal the dogs. And Nolan is the closer and making sure they adopt the dogs. Plus, we have like 50 other people running around doing everything in their power to find these dogs' homes. We have a well-oiled machine running, and we will get all these dogs a loving home. And on top of that, every adopter gets an additional surprise. So are you guys certain you want to adopt Thor? 
Yep. Pretty much. Then I have a surprise for you. Every dog that gets adopted, they also come with free pet food for life. Oh, I should probably turn this where you can see it. Oh, free right. pet food for life and head insurance for life. Get out. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, they take, they we give me the dogs. Food does not come with human food. taking care of Thanks to Spot and Jinx, we were able to provide premium pet food and insurance for all 100 dogs. Let's go! No, Which literally crazy. means free dog food shows up at their door for the entire life of the dog. Oh my god. That Look makes the that. dog so cheap. Thank you. you ain't got to do nothing but just children. give him the food. It's my friend Jimmy. Well, tell your friend Jimmy thank you. But that was when I met this woman who really stood out to me, having previously adopted six other dogs in her lifetime. And so we took her to see some dogs. But she fell in love with Zoe right away. That's her Dane, and she's going to meet Zoe for the first time. Let's see if they get along well. Butt sniffs, that's a good sign. <laughs> we need you to be extra nice to Zoe, okay? Look at them running around. Zoe's gonna be extra happy in this new home. Because now with Zoe, she will be caring for a total of seven dogs. Oh, awesome! We wanted to surprise her with a little something extra. We're also gonna give you $10,000 in cash. Yeah. God. As long as you promise to give her lots of scratches. I do that for nothing. Well, now you're doing it for 10 grand. No way. No problem. Uh -oh. I rescued so many babies. Because I just love them, and they deserve a good home. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to give her a great home, and we know that. And even though it was a chaotic day, by the end of day two, we had 44 dogs adopted. But we noticed Jeez. that there was one dog who got passed up by more families than any other that day. This dog's name is Buffett. He only has three legs because, sadly, oh, he was man. hit by a car. Which, unfortunately, means he just may be the hardest dog out of 100 to find a home for. So this is my favorite dog over here. His name is Buffett. He only has three legs. But luckily for Buffett, we had a few new strategies for tomorrow. Because on day three, we still have over 50 dogs to get adopted. So the first strategy we used is I let everyone into the park and unleashed all of the dogs so that they could choose their own families. You got a camera and you're the cameraman. Okay. Beautiful. That's kind of smart though. Because the dogs are running up who they, who they feel like they comfortable with, you know? Excited on the baby's name? Oh, okay, we thought that Hershey? Was Good dog name, bad chocolate name. <laughs> yeah, you can just jump in there. We won't lock you in. All right, you can't leave until you adopt her now. So what do you say, you want to get the leash? Yeah, why not? All right, arms up. I'm just kidding. It's a perfect match here. <laughs> you think this might be the one? I think so. You want to go home with me? She's so cute. And since we were getting pretty good at adopting dogs, it was time to have a little fun with it. Boy, what quick. am I doing? Lay down and pretend to be asleep whenever they... Oh, she just came out. Hi. <laughs> Stay asleep. <laughs> Hold on. Is he asleep? Yeah, he's taking a nap. He just tucked him in. <laughs> now get up and say, guess nap time's over. Guess nap time's over. And now go back to sleep. Oh. <laughs> oh they think he's crazy. Look here. <laughs> <laughs> but all jokes aside, the good news is we're finally getting more people to see Buffett. Aww. He likes you guys. Buffett might be about to find a family. But unfortunately... Are you thinking Tanner or Buffett? I think Tanner. Do you want to take Buffett back? Yeah, I think so. Well, and we'll go take a look at a couple more? Okay. And so we oh, tried again Buffett. with these two. He's a sweetheart. And he actually gets around really well. But once again... So you, you don't want Buffett? I can't take him. Yeah, come on, good boy. And to be honest, guys, this whole situation made us really sad. Which is why we spent 50 grand on a customized Buffett marketing campaign. We will not rest until Buffett has a loving home. As you can see, all the younger dogs that's are adopted. Lot. People are just not looking to adopt older dogs as much. And since that's all we have left, the further we go, the harder this gets. Some of these dogs are from a facility called a kill shelter. And because they are unable to refuse any animals, they are often over capacity and have to put down their dog. Oh, kill shit. They be putting down the dogs? That's crazy. Dogs to make space for more. But fortunately, that's not gonna happen. And up next, we're on day number four. And this time, we have Dave Batista, who you might recognize from Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you. This one's your favorite? She's so loving. She's working her magic. <laughs> oh, don't give me that look. <laughs> She's like, come on, why don't you adopt me? You're usually the adopter. Yeah, I have four all, all rescues. Might be five soon. Yeah. <laughs> look at us, we both look super defined. <laughs> and now that he looked the part, it was time for Dave's official initiation. This time, Dave Dave's doing the adoption. Let's see how good of an actor he is. Dave, when they walk in, bark and woof to them as a dog. It's an everyday thing for me. <laughs> oh, it's kids. <laughs> it's cute. Hello, how are you? <laughs> All right, you can stop, you can stop. I don't want to make it too hard on him. Sorry for barking, I've been speaking to dogs all day. And we have a prize for you. We have a huge prize for you guys. 
free pet food for life from Jinx. And we also have pet insurance for life for your pup, yeah. Oh, wow, that's amazing. But wait, there's actually one more surprise. There's actually one more surprise. And then go to the beach painting, turn it around, and show them what it says on the back. Can I get the picture? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> With Dave now a part of the team, we were adopting dogs faster than ever before. How's it going? Oh, they're so cute. Are you taking both of them? Yeah. You're not yeah. You can't separate them. Let's go get the paperwork Let's ready. Let's do it. And soon enough, we were approaching the final 10 and hardest to get adopted dogs. Hi, baby. Yeah. So Dave, you keep coming back to her. What's going on? I have a dog named Penny, and she reminds me of her so much. So it's already feeling like we're connected. So I hate seeing her without a home. It's killing me. If no one takes her home, I'll take her. If no one adopts her, you'll take her? I'll adopt her, yeah. All right, I'm going to hold you to that. She's okay. going to have a home no matter what. And it wasn't just Dorley. After getting passed up again and again by families man, all day. Dog, man, I understand, though. Got a little something more wrong with you. People look at you a little different. It's just how life is, man. Sad little dog, man. Somebody, I bet just he gonna get somebody to get that dog. Buffett seemed like he was starting to lose hope, but then something unexpected happened. Buffett seems pretty cool. My grandpa had a three-legged dog. Can I take him for a walk? Yeah, yeah. Buffett seemed to warm up to this guy right away. Come on, hop along. Someone might adopt Buffett. Buffett had a lot of fun running around, and this guy didn't seem phased by his missing leg at all. So I've seen three-legged dogs do pretty good. I'm feeling really good about this time. I think Buffett is about to find a new home. You wanna go home with Buffett? Yeah, I think he seems like a good dog. And to ensure that Buffett had the best possible quality of life moving forward, we also had a custom prosthetic leg made for him, and were able to give his adopter $10,000. Me. <laughs> wow. Buffett found a hole. Now we gotta get rid of his kennel. Buffett, we miss you already. It's bittersweet, but it finally feels good to take down his kennel. Buffett got out of for a lot of other dogs. It's now the start oh, of day five. Buffett. Only 10 doggos remain. We've made some very serious progress. As there's less dogs, there's less options for people to choose from. So obviously, this is going to get harder. And to kick off today, I brought two of my friends who are looking to adopt dogs. You might know Neil because he lost a million dollars in our videos. Mm -hmm. You might know Dustin because he lost $10,000 like five years ago. It's a lot better than a million. And while you're <laughs> looking for dogs, because I've spent over $2 million getting dogs adopted, and don't plan on slowing down anytime soon, please, for the love of God, can I tell you about Surfshark? Of course. I'd rather look at the dogs. dogs. Surfshark is a private network provider, VPN, that lets you access content not available in your location, as well as browse the thousand dollars to help save more dogs. So you should watch this ad. What do you think of Coco? I think Coco. Here, tell me in one second. Sometimes content is only available in a specific country. Luckily, Surfshark has 3,000 servers in 100 different countries, so you can watch movies or shows that aren't specifically available in yours. Anyways, what were you saying? Tell me more. The man put his ass in the midst of a video. You cannot miss him. If you skip him, you probably miss him. About the VPN. Oh, I already did. You want to take Jet out for a walk? Please? Yeah, let's do it. And with Surfshark's alternative ID, you can disguise things like your address, email, and phone numbers from hackers. You're free. Oh, look at him run. Oh, my goodness. What's the verdict? I love playing with this dog, and I want to keep playing with this dog forever. Good enough for me. You think you're going to get Jet? And I'm absolutely getting Zeus. Oh, his name's Zeus now. Yeah. Hey, good enough for me. Did you know if they use discount code MrBeast on Surfshark, they can get up to 83% off and have six months added to their subscription? Are you kidding me? On top of that, Surfshark has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's literally no reason not to install and give it a try right now. You're stupid if you don't. Neil, don't worry. You don't have to share checks with him because okay. we have our own checks for you. Let's go. Eight dogs remain, and we're going to go find them a home. Jimmy, how do I cash these? As we had hoped, as more and more people came <laughs> a great in. great question. Some how are they giving away this stuff, but I wonder how they actually use it. We're showing interest in our older dogs. Is Dexter a shepherd? Are, were you interested in a shepherd? Yes, that is exactly what I was interested oh, in. <laughs> we got two boys, so I think we need like a girl. She's ready to come out. Hello, pretty girl. So you made up your mind about Dexter, you're taking him home. Oh yeah, I'm taking Dexter. <laughs> I think we need her in our life. They're so happy. So as we removed some of the final dog's kennels, we started to receive video footage from all of the families who had adopted these dogs so far. And she's loving her new life here. Cooper has been a great addition to our family. This is Hazel. So far, she is doing amazing. Hi, Sarah. Oh, you got belly rub. Good boy. Yes. Oh, thank you for the puppies, Miss Obese. And it was really beautiful. 
At the start of this video, we had a hundred dogs that had been left in kill shelters or abandoned. But now only two remain, leaving us with Star Crunch and Dorley. And while people are coming to adopt, neither dog seemed to fit what they were looking for. For a small dog, I believe. <laughs> we don't actually have any small dogs left. I was really looking for like a younger dog. Yeah, no worries. Do you guys have any small dogs? Uh, sadly, we don't have any more. We were starting to worry that we wouldn't find these two a home, and there was nothing left to do but wait. Star Crunch and Dora Lee. Man, they're getting down to the neat and greedy. Oh, how's it going? What up? Hi. These are Got our a final two. It's like the last pick in dodgeball. I'm looking for this one, All man. Right, Star Crunch can be incredibly shy when she meets new people, but Star Crunch gravitated right to him. We'll call you Crunch. Win him over, Crunch. You're watching all these dogs get adopted. No, Dorley. And even though it was exciting to watch Star Crunch get adopted, it was sad to see Dorley all by herself. Oh my god, she's actually sad. She's like, just realized what happened. And now we have one. And we're gonna give whoever adopts Dorley over there an even bigger surprise than everyone else. And since she's the only dog left, she doesn't need a kennel. This entire building is her kennel. Well, she's so fast. <laughs> we made sure to give Dorley all the attention the last dog deserved, as we waited and waited and waited until finally one person walked in. How's it going, man? This is Dorley. Hey. Oh, Dorley. oh she seems so to like you. Yeah. She was saved after being abandoned during Hurricane Adalia, and now she's just looking for a forever home. I think she just found one. But before you can take Dorothy home, one person has to approve of it. I hate seeing her here. If no one takes her home, I'll take her. Oh, that's the last dog. Going? I need you to give your blessing, okay? They are super happy. Oh, yeah. Approved. We're gonna give them the paperwork. Take care. Congratulations. Oh, I just oh. hung up on Dave. <laughs> <laughs> He's way too big for you to do that. <laughs> Congratulations on adopting Dorley. And as a reward for adopting the 100th dog, we have $20,000 in cash for you. <laughs> you, see? you have to promise us, you will always take care of her. Right here. I have one final surprise for the people that helped us get all these dogs adopted. Come on in. Oh! As a thank you for letting us use your place, we wanted to make a $100,000 donation. So you can keep finding abandoned dogs. Man, it's easy to be giving away money, but he didn't help people adopt. We all Dogs, then you go get the people that helped you a hundred thousand, but God, so, yeah, YouTube money is something different. Got a bunch of money for all of you that helped us get them adopted. Thank you, Spot and Jinx, for providing pet insurance and dog food. That was wonderful. There's about 50 grand of those little girls, which is extra on top of what they made when we paid them to help. Thank you for watching. Yeah, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you like your dogs and you want a dog. And you got a dog. Comment down below. Let me know what dog you got. Maybe I'll get interested in getting a dog or even adopting a dog one day. At the end of the day, stay out.